the first I think the first thing is that um, that we have a caring society I think I think that's the first thing I think that we have a caring supportive society and, and everybody being there for each other which is which was really 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 I think the most important thing so even yeah so even if not everybody's in the best place but if people are there for each other that's makes all the difference the other thing is we have to be more careful with our relations so we have to we have to be careful with other people's feelings i think it's just being more thoughtful taking more time to talk to people um, uh, even if we are busy to 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 recognize the value of people i think we've got a really special community we've been through something incredible over the past three or four months and i, I would hope that could continue as it's been in terms of we, we feel we can work together we can do things together I think more kindness and people taking more time and the dropping of the timetable you know and I, I think focusing on other people a bit more than yourself Kindness, I think, coming back to caring, supportive society. Um, and we've got a real opportunity on the Isle of Man, um, I think, um, for, for it can be whatever we want, can't it? From a government perspective, I, I see the community spirit. It's been self-evident during the crisis. And uh, I, I hope that that will continue. I think the Isle of Man's always been a fairly neighbourly, friendly place. Um, but uh, it has definitely brought out the best in, in, in a lot of people. So it would be really nice for that community volunteer type spirit to continue. recapturing more of our lives for leisure and pleasure and community activity for ourselves and for other people. Um, it would be a, a quieter, gentler, slower island, I think. I would do more activities to integrate the community now that people is wanting or actually enjoying that kind of thing. A better understanding between different groups of people with different interests and I've identified some people who have to work more because their jobs are less remunerative. People who move to the island through choice rather than people who've got more of their family here. Um, older people and younger people because it's hitting you more than it is pensioners and, and older people. And I think I would like to see more, more events. I would like to see more um, people getting together for stuff. You know, it's a, it's a culture of embracing new ideas, new people and new ways of doing things, but with that strong cultural foundation and thread of that humbleness, that accountability, that transparency, and that trust that if someone needs help, you go help. Uh, we definitely have lots of dancing, singing, playing, rediscovering collective joy with, you know, strangers and friends. Yeah, as I think it's, it's going back to that individual, that individuals have got to hopefully believe they can.
become part of the larger group again. That they may only be one individual, but together they become a community. I'd like to see us all helping each other, uh, considering each other a lot more. My, my hope is that we learn to embrace more neighbourliness, um, more caring. Not just is it, I mean, not just have we slowed down and we're mindful, you know, continue to be mindful, not just that we want to, you know, appreciate and protect our clean air and our clean water and, you know, and all the life we share the planet with, but really that at our core, we understand how we all just are, are connected.